Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Southeastern 14 College Football Week 1 preview. It is the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on the Cincinnati Bearcats. Very excited to be bringing this preview as college football is right around the corner in Southeastern 14 with myself, Blaine Gilmer, Chris Lee, and Blake Lovell are excited all season to be bringing you coverage of all the games, previews of all the teams, schedule breakdowns, Everything is here on the channel, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see all things SEC football related. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this matchup, and we'll have the basics first here. It is a week one matchup, as we said, September 3rd. You've got the Cincinnati Bearcats coming off a college football playoff appearance where they lost to Alabama in the semifinal last year. They are coming into DWR on three at a 3.30 Eastern kickoff time on ESPN. These two programs have never faced each other before. Arkansas is a seven-point favorite, and the over-under is 54. The headlines coming into this one, both of these programs have momentum. Uh, as I said, Cincinnati. Luke Fickle has that program humming. They're getting ready to go into the Big 12 with all this conference realignment that's going on. And Arkansas had a nine-win season under Sam Pittman after they have quickly rid themselves of the stench that was the Chad Morris era underneath Pittman. These programs are both reloading. They're not having to go out and rebuild. They're both reloading. They're doing Very, very well on the recruiting trail. As you would imagine, that Cincinnati's playoff appearance has helped them recruit better than normal. And Sam Pittman just goes out and gets dudes in the transfer portal. He goes and gets them uh, guys that fill needs. He's using that to his advantage. And Arkansas is one of those programs when you're in the CC West against the behemoths that are Alabama, that are Texas A&M that are even Auburn in recruiting and things like that, you have to find a unique way to acquire talent. And Sam Pittman is getting it done on the trail, just straight up beating some teams in recruiting, but he's also doing his thing in the transfer portal. So both these teams are reloading. The question is, can Cincy bear down? Can they be physical enough with Arkansas in this game? We're going to get into it right here as we cover the dudes. So quarterback-wise, Arkansas and Cincinnati are in two totally different places here. Desmond Ritter was an experienced guy for Cincinnati, the unquestioned leader of that team. He's now with the Atlanta Falcons. You have K.J. Jefferson, who's in that same mold as Desmond Ritter was last year, an experienced quarterback that can hurt you with his arm and his legs. Uh, so Cincinnati's going to be a very handy team last year. Here's the thing with Cincinnati. It's going to be tough. You see Ben Bryant. You see Ryan Montgomery. You see Tyler Scott. That's a quarterback. That's a running back. That's a wide receiver. They lost their top three, uh, their top player at all three of those positions. Desmond Ritter, gone. Jerome Ford, gone. Alec Pierce, gone. So Tyler Scott, Ryan Montgomery are going to have to step, uh, step up at the wide receiver and running back position, respectively. Leonard Taylor is a Big tight end. This is a guy who's 6'5", 6'6", in that 250-pound range, can do some really good things. And, you know, when it comes to a team that doesn't have a starting quarterback returning, that tight end a lot of times can be a security blanket. And it's not just Leonard Taylor. It's also Josh Wild that uh, comes back. Both of these guys, 26, 28 catches. So look for them to be a factor in this game but the big thing for Cincinnati is they're returning all five offensive line starters so if you have any instability in the skill positions if you can rely on that kind of stability so many returning starts combined with that unit coming through there this is going to be one of Luke Fickle's best units up front and is going to be one reason that that if they stay in this game throughout all four quarters that will be the reason why As far as the playmakers for the Arkansas Razorbacks, you see Rocket Sanders not listed here as A.J. Green, Dominic Johnson. It is a three-headed monster at the running back position, and Arkansas can straight up run the football. They average just under 230 
rushing yards per game. And guess what? They've got four returning starters on the offensive line in their own right. Everybody knows Stromberg. Everybody knows Bo Limmer. Now they're going to be trying to get Luke Jones right over at that left tackle spot. The only guy that is not a returning starter. He did play in all 13 games a season ago. He's a transfer from Notre Dame early on in his career. And they lost Traylon Burks. That's the big question for Arkansas. Traylon Burks accounted for a lot of that Arkansas receiving production. He was the number one receiver by a long shot. 1,104 yards compared to Tyson Morris, who was also gone. He was the second leading receiver with 337. So, and again, you look at the balance. Traylon Burks had 66 catches last year, and Tyson Morris was second with 24. Again, both those two are gone. They're going to be looking at guys like Warren Thompson to step up. They're going to be looking at guys like Keytron Jackson to step up. But these two names you see on the screen, I said before, they reload at Arkansas. They went out and got Jaden Hazelwood, Jimmy Smith, is the running back coach at Arkansas. He had a connection from his days of coaching Hazelwood at Cedar Grove out of Ellenwood, Georgia. And then another Georgia connection, Matt Landers, comes in. Hazelwood and Landers are two guys that Pittman mentioned over and over to SEC Media Days that he's looking to perform here for this offense. So two big receivers have length, can make catches in traffic. Matt Landers was a Georgia guy. Uh, University of Georgia guy when Sam Pittman was there. He had some struggles. He goes off to Toledo, ends up having a breakout year, and now that confidence is at all-time high for Matt Landers. Big-time red zone threat. Six foot five, got long arms, can really you know win those one-on-one -on -one battles. So look for Hazelwood and Landers to make a big difference on this in this Arkansas passing game. Now defensively for these two teams, Deshaun Pace is a guy for Cincinnati that really steps in at linebacker after Cincinnati loses two starters from last year in Joel DeBlanco and Darian Beavers from a year ago. But you look at Deshaun Price, he only started four games last year, yet he was very productive in a, even in a backup role. He had 95 tackles on the year, good for fourth on Cincinnati's team, and also had four interceptions last year. Also a fumble recovery. This guy just knows how to be around the football. Bearcats also return Arquan Bush at their nickelback position. He started 12 of their 13 games a year ago, had three interceptions in his own right, defended six passes. Arquan Bush is a guy that they can bring down into the box. He can play coverage on slot guys. He is physical yet he is good in the pass coverage so Arquan Bush is going to be a key pivotal guy for Cincinnati in this one they've got a young guy coming in JQ Hardaway out at the corner and when you talk about that Cincinnati defense last year a lot of the attention went to Sauce Gardner and Kobe Bryant both guys in the NFL two outstanding quarters so JQ Hardaway has some big shoes to fill probably being the boundary corner for the Bearcats coming into this one Arkansas, Bumper Pool. He is the unquestioned guy that this defense looks to emotionally, looks to for the, the energy on the field. Bumper Pool just seems like he's been around forever at Arkansas and does nothing but produce. He's a fantastic college football player. Bumper Pool returns once again to be kind of the, the, the center of that defense. Jalen Catalan comes back off of injury uh, and it can't be overstated how talented and how good of a fit Jalen Catalan is. They really missed him last year when he went out with injury, but he looks to be healthy this year. So look for Jalen Catalan to do big things for the Arkansas Razorback. Drew Sanders comes over from Alabama. This is a guy that Sam Pittman just absolutely raved about at SEC Media Days, how he's just a good fit with this Arkansas program, and they were very excited to have him. Dwight McGlothern is a guy that Sam Pittman said if there was an award, a preseason award for talking, for being a trash talker, for someone who has high confidence, Dwight McGlothern would win that award. McGlothern is a guy who started six games for the LSU Tigers a year ago. He now comes over, stays in the SEC West with Arkansas. He had a interception and a touchdown to his credit last year. McGlothern looks to be a guy along with former Georgia defensive back and versatile player Latavius Brini. 
he comes in. He's also, like I said, transferred in. He was a guy that was under Sam Pittman at Georgia, just like Matt Landers was. So some familiarity there between the head coach and the transfer in in Latavius Bernie. And when it comes down to it, Landon Jackson may be one of the most important guys that they brought in, a true edge rusher from LSU that is going to help replace a lot of production they lost up front. So let's look at our score prediction. The spread was minus seven in favor of Arkansas. We're going to give them a 10-point edge here over Cincinnati. We think Arkansas takes this one 31-21. Razorbacks over the Bearcats. We got the new Hogs that are coming in that are going to make a difference here. Jaden Hazelwood. You've got Matt Landers. I think that passing game is going to be a little bit better than people think. They think just because Traylon Burks is gone just because Tyson Morris is gone but I think you're going to see some some good production out of those guys on the outside and then of course DWR is going to be rocking Arkansas's offensive line I think is just going to be more physical than what Cincinnati returns up front defensively so I like this week one matchup to go to Arkansas 10 point edge 31 21 Arkansas over Cincinnati in week one is our prediction make sure you subscribe to Southeastern 14 Again, I'm Blaine Gilmer doing these previews on behalf of Chris Lee and Blake Lovell. Make sure to check us out during the season. Midweek during the season on Wednesday nights, we're going to be doing full in-depth previews of these games in terms of going a little bit more granular X's and O's, all of that good stuff. So follow the channel. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out all the great content. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. And this has been a college football week one preview of Arkansas and Cincinnati on Southeastern 14.